Hello everyone, Pete here, and Decky Loader is an incredible add-on that really unlocks the potential of our PC gaming handhelds. Whether we're doing this of course in the official Steam OS on a Steam Deck, or the new Legion Go S, or indeed on a Windows handheld like the ROG Ally or Ally X using Bazite. Let's blast through the three super easy steps in how to install Decky Loader, then count down the top 10 essential plugins that you absolutely need to download right now including a crucial one if you've installed the official SteamOS on a Windows handheld, an absolute must-have to make LCD screens like the Ally to really feel like an OLED, and the most important one to completely transform our bland and generic default SteamOS interface into this absolutely gorgeous console-like customized theme. So whether you've just got a brand new Steam Deck or Legion Go S that obviously ships with SteamOS installed, or indeed that you've just installed Dual Boot Bazite, like I've just done on a Windows handheld like my RG Ally X, and I'll include a link of that video below, Decaloader is absolutely the first thing that we should install, and it's super easy to do in three easy steps. For step one, let's go to the power options, click on the switch to desktop option, and so let's head over to the desktop mode. Using the web browser, I'm just going to use Firefox for this. In our Google search, just type in Decky Loader. Click on the first link that pops up, which is this. And the website address should be github.com forward slash Steam Deck Homebrew forward slash Decky dash Loader. And I'll include a direct link below in the description. Scroll down a little bit until we get to this huge download button. Then click on this and it'll take just a second to install automatically into our downloads folder. With Decaloader now downloaded, for step two, let's now install Decaloader by minimizing our web browser. Click on the Dolphin file manager icon here. Make sure we're in the downloads section. Double click what we just downloaded. If this is your first file that you've downloaded like me, I'm just gonna tick remember for all executable files, then click launch. This next message says it will start to install Decky, so let's click continue. Enter our sudo slash admin password here. And if you watch my dual boot Bazite vid, then we created this and I mentioned that this is a crucial password that we'll need a lot, so to keep it safe. If you're doing this in Bazite like I am on the Ally X, then you may get this. We're not on a Steam Deck message, so just click OK. I'd recommend sticking to the release version, then click OK. It takes like one second to install, then click OK. Now we can right click on our downloaded file, select move to waste bin to delete it, and click on return to gaming mode. And for step three, let's click the three dotted button or the armor crate button for us on the ally. Let's head down to this brand new plug icon at the bottom and click on this. Decky load is currently empty right now, so let's click on the marketplace button right here. And we're now ready to start downloading our top 10 essential Decky Loader plugins. So we're going to do this top 10 countdown in order, culminating in the most essential Decky Loader plugins that you really must download right now. And first on our list at 10 is a plugin called MU Achievements. If you've never installed a Decky Loader plugin before, we simply hit install, then install on this message to confirm, and Decky Loader will then start to populate with our downloaded plugins right here. And in this one, we click settings, and we can get something called our API key by heading to the Retro Achievements website and enter our details here. And then we can easily keep track of our trophies and all of the retro games that we play, which is really neat. My next bid will be my fully up-to-date 2025 Emmy Deck Emulation Guide for Steam OS. So make sure that you're subscribed with notifications enabled as you will not want to miss this in a few days when it drops. At nine is a boot and suspend animation management plugin called Animation Changer. If we open this up, then head into the Manage Animations section, then there are now over a whopping 5,000 super cool boot up and suspend animations that really add a nice customization feel to Steam OS. And these get updated on a daily basis, like, oh my goodness, someone has just added the South Park Trump clip in the White House, which is hilarious. This thing is insane. And to download one, we simply tap on one that we like, then simply press the download button. It is super easy. And the boot section obviously sets the animation when SteamOS starts up. The suspend animation occurs when we suspend from the menu. And the throbber refers to when we suspend during a game. My favorite suspend and throbber is the old CRT off suspend. And my four favorite boot ups that I set to shuffle are the Matrix, Handheld History, which is a nice little montage of retro handhelds, Valve GameCube, which is a homage to the well-loved GameCube boot up screen, and finally Game Boy Intro to give us a nice retro Game Boy style feel. 
and let us know your favorite animations below in the comments. At eight is a plugin to show game lengths according to the popular How Long To Beat website and it's called HLTB for Deck. And when we've installed this, there are a few options here within the plugin that we can change if we want to. But then this is so good as when we select either a Steam or even non-Steam game, then this plugin provides information in this section right here in how long to beat the main story, the main story plus extras, to complete every single part of the game and finally all play styles which is super helpful to know especially for busy dads like me who may not be able to commit to super long games plus when we tap the view details button then it takes us to the official how long to be website directly and this is where we get more info including wiki guides so on a game like this resident evil 2 remake where i kept getting lost all the time this is so so awesome at seven is a plugin called Playtime. And this is amazing as when we head into the plugin, it gives us a really nice overview of how much we've played over the week. And in our game library, it shows us under each of our games, our total playtime, including our non-Steam games too, like our retro games, which is always a good thing to know and to keep track of. At six is an amazing RGB thumbstick controller plugin called Hue Sync. And when we go into the plugin, we can enable LED control and we can choose any specific solid color here. And by the way, this plugin is essential if you've installed the official SteamOS on a Windows handheld. As whereas here in Bazite, I can double tap the Army Crate button and in Bazite settings, then control the RGB. The official SteamOS for Windows handhelds does not currently have this ability, which is why personally I would recommend installing Dual Boots Bazite over the official SteamOS at the moment, just for all of the added functionality like this that Bazite gives to us. There are other options too, like circulating the colors of the rainbow and a feature that even Bazite doesn't provide, which is battery. So when our battery on our handheld is good, it's a green light, amber when it gets to mid, and then it turns to red when battery is low. Super neat. At number five is a plugin that allows us to quickly connect our Bluetooth devices like earphones or headphones called Bluetooth. When it's installed, we can click on it, enable the Bluetooth toggle, and we do need to pair our device first by going into settings, then Bluetooth, make sure that Bluetooth is enabled, I love using my AirPods Pro Gen 2, which has pretty much zero latency. So we hold down our pair button only this very first time to pair. Once paired successfully, it shows up here and we don't need to do this again. Then from now on, we just hit the Bluetooth plugin, select our device and boom, super easy to connect in seconds. And because I'm kind and love all you viewers so much because you're so awesome, I'll even throw in a bonus audio related plugin. And this is for AirPods, Beats and Galaxy Buds and it's called Magic Pods. And when we head into it here, it tells us our battery life. We can set our different modes like transparency and noise cancelling and just a ton of great options such as reducing our background noise for when our kids are stressing us out or the missus is nagging at us, which to be honest is pretty often, let's face it. Oh, I'm going to get in so much trouble with my wife if she watches this. At four is a plugin to boost the volume and this is called um, Volume Boost. And when we click on this, then obviously the max volume would be 100. But with this, we can actually go even louder. As personally, I do find that the speakers on the Steam Deck OLED and also the Ally X to be just a touch on the quiet side. A word of warning though, in that we don't want to crank this up too loud as our speakers could blow. Personally, I do find around 115 to about the 120 mark. It just boosts our volume enough with zero distortion to really make our speakers now sound perfect. So all of the plugins that we've covered so far, I'd argue are essential, but we're in our top three now. So these are right at the top. And at three is a plugin to adjust the color settings of our display. And this is called Vibrant Deck. And when we head into this, I like to set the vibrancy slider all the way up to the max of 200. And no joke guys, this really does make our LCD displays on our handhelds like the Ally and Ally X genuinely feel like we now have an OLED display that so many of us really crave. And this is particularly awesome for super colorful games like Spyro Reignited Trilogy for example. As when we toggle Vibrant's deck to off, then we can see the colors are pretty muted and bland on the default LCD display. Then when we enable a Vibrant's deck, which is set to the max 200 for me, the colors now really do pop off the screen and just makes our whole gaming experience so much more immersive and enjoyable. And if we compare the two here with it off on the left and on being on the right, Hopefully this comes across well in just a YouTube vid, but this really does significantly add so much more to our games. So definitely download Vibrant's deck right now. 
In second place of the most indispensable plugins is called Steam Grid DB. And this is absolutely fantastic for customizing game artwork. Going into the plugin itself gives us some options, but how we use this is going into our game library. The great thing is this works with both Steam and non-Steam games. And we simply press the start button on a game that we want to change the game artwork for. Select this new change artwork option. And here we can now select from so many incredible game art covers depending on what we fancy. Ooh, this looks nice. In the first capsule tab, we can change what the thin menu icon looks like. The wide capsule is the game artwork when we've just exited out of a game right here. And the hero section is the huge background artwork that fills up the whole of the back part of the menu. And I love this as if you're anything like me, we can get the game artwork looking exactly how we want it for each and every game that we have in our game library. Just before we look at our number one, I do want to give an honorable mention to a very popular deck loader plugin called Power Tools. Now I don't really use this so much as we can easily fall down a rabbit hole of spending too much time tweaking and fine tuning games instead of just enjoying and playing them. But we can tweak and fiddle to our heart's content using this excellent plugin if you are a bit of a fiddler. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. Michael. <laughs> Michael, please. There he is. Please. There he is. And finally, at number one, right at the top of my list for the most essential Decky Loader plugin is how to customize our theme called CSS Loader. When we first click on this, it's empty as we have no themes downloaded yet. So we click on the download button. And there are literally thousands of customizations right here to choose from, which is incredible. A little tip is that if we click on sort, then change this to most downloaded, then my absolute favorite theme is called Art Hero. So let's click on this and then simply install it. And now it appears in the CSS Loader plugin and we can now toggle this to on. Then click enable with configuration. And oh my goodness, this is insane. This allows us to completely customize the whole look and feel of the user interface to make it truly feel like a console. Let's head back into the download area. I really like round, so I'm going to install this, then enable it. And I also highly recommend Obsidian too. So let's install this as well, and then not forgetting to enable it. Clicking on this down arrow just where Art Hero is gives us a vast array of customization options to choose from. And the granular detail is insane in this. CSS Loader really does allow us to get every element of the UI looking exactly the way that we want it. One final recommendation I have is clicking the arrow under mini carousel, changing the size of our game icons from 0.7 to 0.8. And wow, just look at this. This looks absolutely phenomenal. And this coupled with our change artwork that we now have from Steam Grid DB that we've just looked at, I'm gonna change Balatro's hero background to this better one. We've now fully unlocked the potential of our PC gaming handheld within Steam OS and Bazite. I would love to hear which of these Decky Loader plugins are your favorite, which CSS Loader themes that you prefer, and also let us know if I've missed any Decky Loader plugins that you love and use all the time, so do let us know below in the comments. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. The best preparation for tomorrow is just doing our best today. Many times we feel inadequate, our best just isn't good enough. But as long as we can put our head on our pillow each night, knowing that we've done the very best that we can to our ability in life, then that is good enough. So let's not be too hard on ourselves and so stay encouraged today, guys. And as an extra bonus treat for staying right to the end is our gorgeous rescue cat and her name is Pancake. If you enjoyed today's video then check out my fully updated dual boots bazite guide so that you too can enjoy all of these decky loader plugins on your windows handheld slightly ally too as always be sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one